Here's one for you to try. Find the equation of a line that passes through the point 3, 5 and is perpendicular to 2x minus y equals 8. Then write your answer in function notation. So pause the video, try it on your own, and then we'll work it together. Okay, let's first remember some facts about parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have the same slope, perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. So we need to find the slope of the line given and then we'll take the negative reciprocal of that. Okay, so here we are, we have 2x minus y equals 8. We can find the slope of that by solving for y. So I'm going to add y to both sides and subtract 8 from both sides. This gives us 2x minus 8 equals y. Well that's really y equals 2x minus 8 which is in the form y equals mx plus b. Thus, we can see that our slope is 2. Okay, but that's the, that's the slope of our line. We want the slope of the line perpendicular to that. Okay, so the negative reciprocal, m perpendicular, is negative 1 over 2. Right, we flip it and change the sign. So we flipped it to one half, changed the sign from positive to negative. There's our slope. Okay, well now we have a point, 3, 5, and we have a slope, negative one half. So we can use point slope form to get the equation of our line. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Okay, so let's plug everything in there. We have y minus y1, well y1 is 5. 5 equals m, we decided that was negative 1 half, x minus x1, x is 1 is 3. Okay, distribute that through to both terms there, distribute the negative 1 half through. So that gives us negative 1 half x plus 3 halves. And finally, adding 5 to both sides gives us y equals negative 1 half x plus 3 halves plus 5. Okay, well let's just go to the side here. 3 halves plus 5. We need a common denominator here, so I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2. That gives us 3 plus 10 over 2, so 13 halves. Thus our answer, I'm going to go up here with it, is y equals negative 1 half x plus 13 halves halves. That's almost always a perfectly good answer. This one in particular wants us to write it in function notation, so f of x equals negative 1 half x plus 13 halves. Final answer.